Hello world, how's it going? It's your boy LRB. So I went to the Killy Carnival this weekend and I came back with a ton of Killy fish. So I did get a few pair here in this box. Then also there's some more events. Oh, and I got this uh, laundry basket full of them too. Mostly for you guys to share with you guys and get them out to you. But you got some events coming up. You got Waco and Wisconsin Area Killy Fish Organization, November 7, 8. 20 all the information here if you want to pause click there you go then here we got the aka this is the big event that's the national event and that's going to be in st louis hosted by Massai. awesome club there and uh more information here within it june 19th june 21st take another pause on that if you need to and then you got the michigan killifish association the mka and they've got a show as well april 18th april 19th all the information there pause it if you got to but since i have all these i gotta create a quarantine for all these guys so what we're gonna do is diy a quarantine system where i can quick water change these guys um pretty much whenever i need to instead of having to do and water changes because with all these it takes quite some time so i got the plumbing we're going to drill in and out pipes got the valves as well which i'm going to be using these air valves these plastic air valves you can get these off jimco and there's the model number awv1tv i'll be drilling in some pvc for those hook up my water line but i'll walk you guys through that as i build it all right, so to start off with, these are gonna hang in here like this. So you can see they hang over the side. So I'm actually gonna put my water line in, the water that goes in off the front edges here. That way I don't even have to drill into these and that'll keep the integrity. Cause this I don't have to drill into, but these I will have to drill for the out, the drain, because I want it to eventually come down here down into here into the sink and then the and then the water in it'll just connect right up to here so first things first wipe these away all right so now that's all cleared out we're gonna have to measure out the holes that we're gonna use for the drain so the next step is to drill out for this pipe here that's gonna be our drain pipe which I have to sit on a 2 by 4 to make it tall enough for this to sit in it so I'm gonna go through, mark all the drains, and then we're gonna cut that out. All right, I got these marked out here. I'm gonna drill the hole. Did run into the problem where the wall mounts are gonna hit, but I don't know, I'll drill it out now and uh, figure it out later. And since I have one, I should be able to use that as a template for the rest of them since they're all lined up. All right, that's down. And then I pretty much left everything in order. That way I can put it back up easier. All right, it wasn't easy, but I got the pipes in. This will be the drain lines. We'll go over, I still gotta add the one up top. I do have it over at the end where it'll connect and come down. Now I did end up sliding these through instead of notching them out. It was just way easier to do production-wise, tool-wise. And I don't think I'm even gonna need the two by fours because these are holding themselves up pretty solid. And there's not really gonna be that much water going through them. So that'll save me some work. So now I have to get the shelves in. And as far as out drain, I am using a two inch PVC. Then now I got all the shelves in, I can start lining up these containers here. That way I can find out where I need to drill into the PVC there. So I can just mark it and go. And I did test this to make sure I could get the drill up and down before I did it like this. Then I'm going to get my end caps on here, that way it kind of sets it where it needs to be. Know where it lays. Alright, now that I got all these drilled out, I can go ahead and use this graduated drill bit, also known as a step drill bit, to get my holes in here. And ideally, I would have liked to have this done before I put this in here and, you know, notch that out. But, I'm trying to get this done as quickly as I can because these killifish have got to get their new homes. Got them all drilled out. 
something for cleanup, recycle, definitely. All right, now that I have this cleaned up, I can start putting in containers and see how many we come up with. And as far as the container, this is made by Aquatic Habitats. There you can see the name and the number. Now, they used to not sell to the public, but enough people have been asking them for these, and they do now sell to the public, which is awesome. I got lucky, got mine on a, uh, they got mine from a third party before they did start selling to the public. And luckily, I got a really good deal on them. All right, it's late, I'm getting tired. Instead of putting these up yet as much as I'd love to, I need to put some sh shelf supports on here. I got some nice low profile ones from Home Depot. That way it'll help hold the weight over time. All right, I got the shelf supports in now. All right, all right, all right. Got all the containers in now. It should give me about 79 new Temporary houses for incoming fish. This will be good for a quarantine. I'm excited. I've been needing to do this for a while. So now all those are in. This is set pretty much where it needs to be now. So I'll go ahead and plumb down this end. Then we'll drain it on down and into the sink. All right, so drain's finally finished. Got the end here plumbed up. Got a little slope for it to drain down and into the sink. So now the next step is to get the water line in. We got the water line out, gotta get it in. And as far as hanging the drain, I just use a plastic hanger strap. Now to hang the water line in, I'm using these pickup talons, which comes with nails and I just replaced it with a screw. All right, all the talon hooks are set up, so now I can set and mark all the valves for all these. The valves I'll be using, got these off of Jimco, and I also got the tap. That way I can just screw them right in. Now I did have to pre-hole drill PVC. And then the tap drill. Then these just screw right in. There you can see the black knobs, the valves are on the water in line. And as far as hanging up the one up top, I just use the anchor screw, drywall anchor screw hook, and some fishing line. So now that part's done, I can go ahead and put the end caps on. Then I've got to actually plumb it into the water line here. Which means I'm getting close, getting so close, can't wait till this is done. And I'll also have to cut some airline tubing to get it into here. Well, this is great. So my water line system is a PEX system, which is not the same as PVC. So I did get an adapter for that, but of course it does not match up to anything. Doesn't fit, doesn't fit, nothing I can do. Hey, Chihuahua. So right now I'm gonna have to put the connection in hold because I was planning on putting a barrel down here to season up water or something down there. I already put a valve down there for that future project and have a pump pump it up. That way I can season it first without, since they're kind of smaller containers. So I may just run this down into whatever goes down there, a barrel or whatever, and then pump this back up. I just had to cap that off. But I'll have to figure that here in a little while later. So all that's left now is to get the airline into here so it can run the water in. I gotta get the killie fish in here regardless tonight. So I will have to deal with that another time. Sweet water lines are in. Airline, just use airline to plug that in. Water will come in there. Now what's next is I gotta create sponges to block the overflows on these containers, which I've got a bunch that I got from Big Al's a long time ago for cheap. These usually go and hang in the bags or canisters. I'm gonna cut these up. I'll get a few out of them per each, but I got a lot to do. All right, getting some killifish in there. 
Now I'll need to get some moss in there. I'm gonna put a little RO water in there for them too. Always, whenever running through a bunch of bags like that, please do your best to recycle. And a lot of these probably end up breeding in here. But I won't have the time nor energy to collect all the eggs myself. Now I'm also going to have to cut some tops out of cardboard because these guys are notorious for jumping. Alright, there's the graveyard of bags. Killifish are done. Finally. Finally. I'm exhausted. And thank you everyone for your awesome support. Really appreciate you. And I should have the Achilles on LRBAquatics.com here in a little while, so watch out for that. All right, now I got the right part, PVC. This will work, I measured it. Rip it into the old line, gonna connect into the new line, put a valve, T, all that stuff. Work, dude. Nice, got it all connected here. Getting ready to run, so. Can't run it now, still gotta wait for the cure time here. I gotta get this video out because you guys probably think I already died since I wasn't feeling that great last time you guys, many of you guys seen me. But stay tuned, we'll have this thing fired up. Should probably do a video on the killifish too. What do you guys think? So there you go, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe, all kinds of cool stuff coming up. And yeah, until next time everybody, peace. Have a great one.